What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Sim News, baby. Hashtag Farm Sim News. Today we have 14 PC mods in testing. We have 19 console mods in testing. And of all of those, 14 mods were released today. Plus, we've got fact sheets for a brand new free DLC coming to Farming Simulator Thursday, May 16th, 2019. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Metal Fac U741-1 RDC FS19. The Alpler Pollock out now. Chevan Sniper 1511 Manure Spreader out now for PC. We have the Def Pack mod out now and available for PC only. We also got an update to the Farming Legend map. In testing is the Kuhn Axis 402 Plus Pack Fertilizer Spreaders. The Lubausch 100D16 Bell Trailer out now for PC. In testing is the Lizard Pickup TT. Oh, I hope this comes to console. This is awesome. Back in testing is Meadow Grove. The MXBC 250H. The Quick Camera Mod available now for PC. Tyrolean Alps available now for PC players only. And the Vaderstad Top Down 500. For consoles, we have the Amazon AW6600. This was released today for all platforms. We also have Bellfork Self Made. The Case IH14 Plow. Farming Legend Console Edition released today. The FarmTech Duras 2000 was released today for all players. In testing now for consoles is Hagenstead. We also have the Kroger Overloader. The Kuhn Veramaster 153 4 Plus 1. In testing now for consoles. The Lemkin Sapphire 8. We've got an update to the Lizard SXHV30. This was released today for all platforms. Also released today was the M44 SR Bell Fork. This was originally for PC only. It was released quite a while ago, and now it is out for consoles as well. Also in testing is an update to Mercury Farms. What I know about this update is it's going to remove all fences and hedges that can be removed. You can remove them with the simple click of a button. And it also comes with a trailer. That way you can sell gasoline or fuel, which is very cool. We also have Oakfield Farm 19 back in testing for Farming Simulator 19 on consoles. We've also got the self-made 800 kilogram weight, an update to the Slurry Tanker 14 with injector. Released today on all platforms was the Slurry Trading System. Also released today was the Solar Collecting Single Array Unit. We've got the Stratman Zellin CFS 3301DO. This was released today for all platforms. And the Toldy 14. I can't find anything about this for farming, but I'm getting a lot of pictures of Hungarian tanks. I don't think we're gonna get a Hungarian tank, but thought it'd be funny nonetheless. With all that being said, we still have 79 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is five weekdays. Farming Simulator on their Twitter page have said, let's start Fact Sheet Friday again, because we have something to announce. Coming on May 16th, the Homer Terra Variant DLC, which will be available for all Farming Simulator 19 owners on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Of the two fact sheets, the first one is the Homer Terra Variant 435 and the Zunehammer Glide Fix 15. The Homer is a carrier vehicle, which is going to be a new. It's going to be a new thing. We don't have carrier vehicles in the game right now. So this is very cool. This is going to add a whole nother category. Base price is going to be $381,500. Power is 430, 435 horsepower. That's a lot. Oh, 435. I get it. Fuel tank's going to hold 640 liters. Contents can do slurry and digestate. Max speed of 24 miles per hour. Configuration, you can do wheel setup and main color, which is very cool. I want to have like a black one of these. I think it'll look really cool. Wheels, you have standard, wide, and narrow. Now, in Farming Simulator 17, the narrow tires were narrow duels. So I'm interested to see if that's going to be the case. Steering modes are also all wheel, front wheel, and crab steering. And capacity is 16,000 liters. Now, with the Zunehammer Glide Fix, this category is slurry injectors, price of $32,800. Working width of 49 feet or 15 meters, 
working speed of 17 kilometers per hour or 10 miles per hour, and compatibility with the Terra Variant 435, the SKE 18.5 PUD PUD. We also have the Homer Terra Variant 485. It's also in carrier vehicles. $387,500, power of 585 horsepower, fuel tank of 720 liters, max speed of 40 kilometers or 24 miles per hour. Configuration wheel setup. Wheels are standard, wide, and narrow, and steering modes are all wheel, front wheel, and crab steering. We also have the Annaberger Manure Spreader XM3. This is going to be a manure spreader module. $31,000 will get you this. Contents will do manure. Capacity of 17,400 liters. Working width of 24 meters or 78 feet. Working speed of 20 kilometers per hour or 12 miles per hour. And compatibility with the Terra Variant 585. These things are massive and they were a huge part of Farming Simulator 17. If you did not play Farming Simulator 17 and 19 is your first farm sim game, you are in for a real treat. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you've got any questions about these, drop those down in the comment section below. Be happy to help you out. That being said, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace. Got me a bird.